हेलो एवरी वन दिस अंकिता मोर्य दिस आई एंड आई एम एन बी एस सी एग्रीकल्चर स्टूडेंट एंड एन एग्रीकल्चरिस्ट सो टूडे आई हैव सम बायो कंट्रोल एजन बायो कंट्रोल फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड ऑल द केमिकल रिडक्शन थिंग्स फॉर यू एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर गोइंग टू लव इट एज इट्स ऑल्सो कॉस्ट सेविंग इट्स टाइम सेविंग एंड इट्स मोर इफिशियंट फॉर योर प्लांट्स सो बेसिकली आई जस्ट टेल यू वॉट द फंक्शन आर ऑफ दिस ऑल बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट्स बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स बायो पेस्टिसाइजर्स एंड बायो फंगी साइड्स सो वॉट ऑल दिस डू इज दे अटैक ऑन द बेस्ट द फंगस और द बैक्टीरिया दे एंटर इन टू द बॉडी एंड दे ब्रेक डाउन द बॉडी और द वॉट एवर द एग्जो सिस्टम दे आर हैविंग एंड दे रिड्यूस द इन्फेक्सटेशन ऑफ द बेस्ट सो फॉर दैट the first one that we are looking after is verticillium lecani so what the basically verticillium lecani does it affects a feeds white flies and mealybugs so all of this are sucking pest these are the minute insects that feed on the cell sap of leaf and basically they are found beneath the leaf under side of the leaf like i have this leaf here it's of money plant so the insects that feed on the underside of the leaf not on the top basically on the underside and they feed through the cell saps why are they beneath i'll tell you that because you can see this this vein of the uh, plant or the leaf is from downside and it's easier for for them to feed on that as compared from the upside here is all the stomatal pores that are used for the photosynthesis and from the downside here are all of the veins so the sucking paste usually attacked from the downside of the leaf so for this we are using verticillium lecani it works better in warm and humid weather where there is a warm and humid weather it works better at that time so this is a cheap method for farmer to use the next that we have is pseudomonas fluorescens so what is the work of pseudomonas fluorescens so it basically works to improve the soil nutrient or to make the availability of soil nutrients to the roots of plant it also has a drawback that it can affect or infect the leaves or the plant as it will break down the nutrients in the soil it will make soil more fertile but simultaneously when you are using it while the crop is there in the field it can also infest your crop it can lead to uh, leaf spots then root borer or might be it can infect or rotten your root it will wilt your plant so just take care of that and if any kind of infection is visible after using of uh, pseudomonas fluorescens just remove the plant and destroy it don't wait for that because it doesn't have any kind of cure as such in the day or it's kind of uh, tremendously affected then it is also beneficial for all the farmers then comes bivaria bassiana in uh, what is bivaria bassiana basically bivaria bassiana is an insect pest a control agent and there is a bio control which works for white flies aphids thrips and beetles so it works for it not only works for sucking pest but it also works for all of the beetles uh one more thing this as this works for insect pest let me tell you that it is harmless to humans animals and beneficial insect it's a plus point of bivaria bassiana that it does not harm our beneficial insect there are various beneficial insect even in beetles there is ladybug beetle that is beneficial to us that feeds on parthenium and that controls the weed there are various beneficial insects like earthworm or other uh, we can call which are used for soil fertility or to uh, control the harmful insects that they feed on their predator insects those are also beneficial for us like hoppers and all so it does not kill them so it's a plus point to us that while saving uh, our plants or our field from the insects those are harmful we are also saving our beneficial insects we are protecting them and we are not harming them it's also harmless and intoxicant to humans and animals so you can definitely use this then is trichoderma 
what is trichodoma trichodoma is i think trichodoma is recently so popular that i don't need to tell you more about trichodoma but still let me tell you that it is uh, useful to cure fungi bacteria and viruses it works on all of them but it is a precautionary method all of the bio controlled agents so whatever i'm telling they are preventional very rarely they will work after you are using them for cure and uh, make sure that you use it prior like you have seen that the weather has changed it's humid you will you are going to see a certain kind of pest is going to arise it's suitable the weather is suitable for certain pest to arise before that you can just apply any bio control agent that is suitable for x y z pest accordingly so that it does not arise and it's a better idea than that it helps in a stimulation of plant growth as it breaks down the enzymes it helps the nutrition uptake of uh, plants and it improves the soil fertility trichoderma then comes metarizumab and asoli it is a pest control and it works best in uh, early morning or evening when the temperature is low and the cooler time is there of the day how it works is at this time there is humidity is high and the temperature is low and during the afternoon time there is a temperature is more it's dryness is not amount of humidity that is required so it works better in mornings and evenings you can use that you can any all of this uh, bio control agents all of this you can use as dusting or even spraying that available in liquid and powder form so you can use both wise whatever is comfortable for you all but uh, why are we using all of this in humidity let me tell you this as this is not a chemical and it does not have a sticking ability or the sticking property property has not imposed into it so what we are doing by using this in early mornings or in the cooler time of the day that is morning and evening the humidity is more the plant itself has the dew on its leaves or something so that when we use this due to humidity it can easily be sticked to the insects or the plant and it can be easily absorbed that is what does the humidity and a cooler temperature to the plants and leaves because at this time the stomatal pores also have water on them that you helps to intake of all these things if you are spraying it and even if you are dusting there is moisture availability to to humidity and cooler weather so the condensation happens and the water is provided even in dusking so this is all for bio control agent and uh, i think every farmer now and then is going to know about uh, all the bio control agents how it is important for all of us how it is beneficial and uh, it's really cheapest method while we are using chemicals and all chemicals going to give you a instant result it will provide you instant result it will give you yield and all but it's not going to work in long term when we are talking about a long term yield that we want when we are talking about the productivity it's not going to give you likewise in every single year it's going to be disturbing okay chemical will help you to recover every adverse condition that nature provides you there's a drawback that it, it won't give you quick result by control agent it won't give you a quick result but trust me when i say that it will give you the bestest result you have ever had in the long term because it's all of those things are going to be they are cultured bacterias then nothing less than a cultured bacterias that will go into your field and they will attack it's not an artificial chemical that is just burning the growth of the uh, fungi bacteria this are going to be parasitizing the enzymes they are going to parasitize the insect pest bacteria fungal whatever it is they are going to feed on them and they are going to multiply themselves in soil so that we don't have to multiply or we don't have to continuously add these things into soil if we add it once in a year or twice in a year it's more than enough they just need a suitable weather and it will just lose if we don't provide or the nature doesn't support the suitable weather to the soil 
because trichoderma does not survive in more hot weather so in summers might be trichoderma vanishes off from your soil but you can again give it and it's it's, it's a cheapest method if your soil continuously ke, uh, gets hot and hot and the trichoderma doesn't survive it's affordable for you all to provide trichoderma to your field continuously because it's cheap you can do this with chemicals and everything but uh, every or uh, as we talk about uh, metarhizum metarhizum does not also work well in hot weather so you can provide it the only drawback is that in the adverse condition or not if not suitable conditions provided to this they will die but the plus point of this is that it's much affordable than the chemicals that you can continuously input in, input it in your soil so that's a plus point and also after adding this they will keep on multiplying that will help your biocontrol agents and uh, beneficial insects to grow very well so once your beneficial insects grow you will not even need all of these things if the imagine if today we are using trichoderma to trichoderma or pseudomonas or might be bivaria bassiana today we are using this in our soil today we are using this biocontrol agents and we are not using any kind of chemicals that means we are providing a suitable condition for all the beneficial insects to grow well in our soil right we are simultaneously also killing the harmful insects or the harmful pest in our field we are also improving the soil quality fertility and the plant uptake of nutrients right we increasing all of these things at a certain time of by one or two years there will be situations when the beneficial insects are more and the harmful insects are less and the harmful insects are eventually going to be killed by the beneficial insects right so this cycle is going to continue and there will be a day then we won't even need to apply trichoderma so what the 5% cost we are going to use at the moment that's also going to be nullified a good thing for every farmer to hear but so i think it's good because every year as we are deteriorating the quality of our soil and everything it's just something that we are not looking for for our further generation and also after a few years we are not going to get the same yield we are just going to look for what we have today in our future so i think today is the day we need to preserve all of these things so biocontrol agents are best and also let me tell you about the liquid consortia if you are so much confused about all of these things if you are confused about verticillium lecami if you are confused about trichoderma pseudomonas or metarhizobium or uh, piveria bassiana if you are confused which thing to use when which thing to use for what thing and how much the proportion should be there's a good news for you all that our scientists do a great job and they never disappoint us and make our lives easy so we also have a liquid consortia so basically what a liquid consortia is liquid consortia is a mixture of all of the biocontrol agents by fertilizers in a proper proportion it has a zatobacter rhizobium trichoderma metarhizobium and all of this are used to fix nitrogen phosphorus sulfur everything in the soil all of the nutrients so that it will be adequate for all of us and it will be easy to add in our soil and it will help of all of this by conservations so i think you should definitely try it and uh, let me know if uh, you have any kind of questions you can just comment down below or you can go after trying this what was your results you can also use this for seed treatment uh, to try for you keep your farm healthy if your farm is healthy then only your crop or your yield is going to be healthy and that's the way your family is going to eat healthier because today whatever you are growing not only your family but many families are going to eat it and simultaneously what other farmers are going to grow they are going to also feed a part or a portion of your family so make sure you also spread the awareness among all of the farmers to use biocontrol agents bio pesticides bio fertilizers and everything that is not chemical 
that's good all of this are cultured bacteria it is not a chemical this are bacteria which are so nano that we can't even see it through our eyes but these are all bacteria and uh, let me know